Hey guys, I want to talk about the shaking bow from nervousness and maybe something that we can do to stop it in its tracks. Now, first of all, I'll tell you a really quick story. In 1993, I remember it was fall of 93 because I remember where I was going to school. And on PBS television, on uh, they had live from Lincoln Center, one of our great violin virtuosi was performing the Beethoven Violin Concerto and they had the big introduction and he came in with the octaves and his bow started shaking. Okay, now instantly this caught my attention because I didn't think that would happen to someone of that stature. And of course now I realize that everybody gets nervous. But what I saw him do was, it was pretty interesting actually. He had this player, I won't name names, it's sort of not fair to do that, but he kind of has a low elbow when he plays, high wrist, okay? But what he did when his bow started shaking, first of all, he, he leaned back, flattened the instrument, and then he raised his arm up very high. And that result was, look at the angle of the bow, push the, the stick out to the side. So he had a very high bow arm, and it stopped almost immediately, and then he was good to go. So uh, Nathan Cole has a video on this very subject talking about what you can do. And he, I haven't watched it in a while, but I think he just talks about rolling your wrist forward. And so he doesn't talk about raising the elbow, but it's sort of the same result. Although I've found that I really get stability if I do what I saw this virtuoso do. Um, if you're not totally understanding what I'm talking about, first of all, the bow is very springy, right? So when you're under a relaxed situation, you can hopefully control the bow so that it doesn't bounce. When your hands get a little shaky though, it amplifies, it gets a feedback loop through the, the shake, you hear it, then you freak out, it makes it worse, right? So the first thing you have to do, I think, immediately is don't hold your breath release the tension so you should actually practice that you know maybe playing for your friends but the other thing is if i push my stick forward almost to the point where the stick is touching the string you may hear that noise okay so but to me that's preferable to this so push it out to the side and then maybe roll right off of it. So you barely touch it and then you're off. And I think you'll actually get control of it. Keep breathing, everything will be fine. So experiment with it, see what happens, okay? Good luck, see ya.